we are going to look at how can we be inclusive and how can we really strategize for inclusive practices? When I think about my classes, I really, really um, try to endorse a lot of these, um, a lot of these specific things. I would try to give specific praise to, uh, to particular students and really highlight the things that they are doing, that they are doing correctly or doing that I want to see modeled and um and done again. Um, you really want to honor the abilities of all of your students. Meet them where they're at. So for example, if you have a student that really struggles to get in one push-up, but they're the following week they're able to get to get in that one push-up, we can really honor, like, yes, you are, you know, you are building your strength. Meet them where they're at. I loved using things um, like music counters um, for transition time. Students need transition time. And I loved using music as kind of a way to let them know, okay, we are now moving away from the warm up area and we're going to move over to our basketball court or our um, upper field for the day's activity. Really utilizing some of these strategies and giving students the gift of time can be, um, can be very, very helpful. And then of course, really go um, circling back to our first concept, when you are making connections with your students, you are being inclusive. Get to know your students. I know in physical education, we have a lot of, we, we tend to have a lot of students, right? Um, I really, really made it a priority of mine to learn every single one of my students' names. Um, there were definitely years where it was a challenge because you have maybe 300 plus students and it might've taken me a little while, but I really, it, it does, it definitely helps when you have have their name on their shirt, right? Um, but it just, it just really shows them that you are recognizing them as a person. You are recognizing them as just more than a number. So really making those connections with your students.